Sometimes it takes leaving your home and coming back to realize how beautiful you have it around you. All it takes is getting on a trail next to a lake or getting up in the mountains for a run. Being out there with just me and the sounds of my feet against the gravel, it can remind me that this is why I love running. My name is Jared Ward. I teach school at Brigham Young University and I am an Olympic marathoner. It's easier to juggle a lot of things going on in life when you love all of them. Who's going to say the prayer today? I couldn't be more blessed than to have the family that I have. What do you remember about the story about Nephi? The other brothers don't even listen to anything. My ecclesiastical life is very important to me too and I love that and I'm grateful for the spiritual connection that I feel like I have with my God. And, and remember, so SQ I love the academic side and I love helping students and I love doing research and I love running. Hey, where are you going? That oftentimes there is a lot going on. So sometimes it feels like a balancing act. Sometimes it just feels like I'm blessed with a day full of things that I love. I would say I was drawn to Brigham Young University as an athlete. I wanted to be a part of an incredible program that was a, a national powerhouse. Being realistic, I knew that I needed to get an education for the future. In my early years, I liked math. And so when I went to BYU, they required that I put down what my major was gonna be as an athlete. And I said, well, let's just put statistics and see what happens. It was about a month after I graduated that the statistics department approached me and said, would you be willing to teach a course or two for us as part-time faculty? And I said, yes, I'd love to. <laughs> it sounds amazing. And I, I like teaching even more than I thought I would. All right. So my research was done on data taken from the St. George Marathon, and we looked at pacing profiles across a variety of runners. Now, you know, my two worlds, the athletic and the academic, have very much combined. And they're finishing faster relative to their pace for the average runner. So these, these splits are uh, standardized for each athlete. Fuels the, the decisions that I make and how I train and uh, race strategies. Um, the numbers really play a big part into the running as well. So we're gonna get these posterior distributions that feel out what's the effect for age and what's the effect for being male versus female on this four-dimensional response. I can definitely see how his running definitely comes into the classroom. He's all about getting to the finish, you know, getting so to a, getting an A, finishing there. strong, because, uh, you know, he likes to finish strong as well. Ready, go. Yeah, yeah. Here go. Well, this is a workout where you need speed, and you can kind of raise that ceiling, but you can work the breadth and the efficiency of it as well. Here we go, guys. Nice Relax and roll, this is good. I would describe Jared as someone who is sincere and genuine. Ever since I've been on the team, I was a freshman, he had just graduated, he was just starting his professional running career, and he made me feel like I was special and that I was going to be great just like him. You guys look good. To have the coaching staff at BYU has been unbelievable. Having incredible facilities and resources makes a huge difference and the right people especially um, running those facilities where it's a little bit more force on the left side than the right seems like your left leg is just more powerful like is that a similar behavior where ian's at he you know he has all the resources to analyze our biomechanics and to help us learn uh, what our body's doing and how we're moving and maybe give us pointers on different muscle groups that we could strengthen to potentially make our movement a little bit more efficient, which is critical as a marathon runner. This is a little and then you spring off. When I was an athlete at BYU running on the track, Coach Eyestone had talked to me about how 
I looked like an efficient runner to him. I think Coach Eyestone always had a vision of the marathon for me in the long run, um, long before I did. And uh, that was an intimidating thought to me. A marathon was four times the distance that I had ever raced. And that first marathon was hard. I hit the end, uh, you know, two miles to go, and my peripheral vision started to go. And I got to the finish line, and I remember them putting me in a wheelchair. I realized that the marathon is hard. It's a long ways. And, um, and I learned some things about fueling, and I learned some things about pacing, so I could go into the next marathon and try to learn a few more things. United States of America. Estados Unidos da America. The Olympics was an incredible experience, and I was blessed to be a part of some awesome scenes. Race morning in Rio was wet and a little bit chilly. I mean, it had been raining through the night, so there were puddles everywhere. And I just remember more cameras than athletes and the helicopters in the air um, up in front of us, ready to record as soon as the race started. Looked like a swarm of bees. It was, uh, it was finally go time. Coach and I really had agreed that we should be very pleased with a top 10 finish. And when I came around that corner, I knew I was in the top 10. And then with about three or 400 meters to go, I thought I ought to run it as fast as I can. And I dug down and I ran as fast as I could for that line. And when I hit that line, it was incredible. I remember talking to media shortly after and uh, they were giving me you know, kind of poking fun at me for being the most excited sixth place finisher they'd ever seen at the Olympics. Certainly looking forward to vying for another Olympic team come 2020 in Tokyo. I'd like to have road stops on the way that help me get there. Hopefully just get better year after year so that come 2020, I'm a better marathoner than I am now and try to do it all over again. I wake up in the morning excited, uh, excited to run, excited to study, excited to teach, excited for everything.